Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's postnatal workout is a postnatal Pilates bar sculpting class. For the bar section, you will need to grab a chair or you could just grab the back of a couch or you could hang on to a wall. You don't need any other equipment, but I have added the option to use a couple of light dumbbells. I've got two and three pound dumbbells there, or you could just grab bottles of water. This workout is safe if you have diastasis recti or you're recovering after a C-section after you've been cleared for exercise, of course. Watch your core. Make sure you're not getting any coning or doming during any of the moves. I will keep making postnatal workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We don't need our chair for the warm up, so I'm going to push it to the side for now. Let's bring our feet hip width distance apart. We can start with some shoulder rolls. Going forward. And big arm circles. Keeping your ribs pulled in to keep your core safe. Forward. Good. Let's bring our feet wide apart. Pigeon toe our toes in. We can clasp our elbows behind us. Inhale, keeping length in your spine. Fold forward only as far as feels good for you. And then bend one knee at a time. Not going too deep here, just warming up. Come back to center, inhale, coming up. Turning our toes out. We will plie, stretch to the side. more here beautiful last one good let's bring our feet quite wide apart we're gonna go down to second position here making sure that our knees are not going past our ankles we can place our hands on our hips come up we'll plie down come up squeezing your quad squeezing your glutes down, moving with your own breath. Core is engaged, pulling in, ribs are pulling down. We'll do one more here and we'll add a Kegel. We're gonna come down and Kegel up down gathering your pelvic floor muscles lifting good on our next down we'll come down lift our heels coming up again beautiful On our next one, we're going to stay down, lift your heels up, pulse here, continue to breathe. Our legs should be feeling nice and warm now. Couple more seconds. Good, release your heels down. Now we're going to shift our weight back and forth. Knees are pressing towards the back of the room. Couple more here. Stay nice and low. Come on up. Let's bring our feet together and we'll go up in our Pilates stance and bend down two up two beautiful
Knees are opening up towards the side of the room now. Couple more here. Good, and come down, pulse. Breathe. Shoulders are relaxed. Come on up, shake it out. We can go ahead and grab our chair now. And again, you can do the arm movements just with your arms or if you wanted to grab a weight for an extra challenge, you could. So placing our hand lightly on our bar or our chair, we're not gripping it. It's just there for a little bit of balance. We'll come to first position. You can point one foot out to the side. We'll take one arm up. We're gonna do some oblique crunches. So really focusing on engaging, bringing elbow towards knee, stretching out. Exhale as you bring them together. Focusing on the core work here. Beautiful. Last one. Good, let's turn our feet in and now we're going to Put our palm up, reach it up towards the ceiling, and we can bring them together. Point in front. Core stays engaged. Last one, good. We can turn towards our chair or our bar now. Keeping our feet parallel, we're going to lunge back. Find that position first with nice 90 degree angle, and then we can tap up back to our lunge again. Core is engaged. Last one here, let's stay down. Pulse here. Good. Beautiful. Coming up. From here, you can step back a little bit. We're going to kick our back leg behind us. Take our weight down with the opposite arm we will row and kick. Core stays engaged. Last one, good. We're going to kick back again, but we'll add a tricep at the same time. So we will kick, extend. Last one, hold and pulse. Releasing out, we can move to the other side. You can either turn around, I'm gonna turn my chair around to this side, coming back to first position. Point out to the side, reach one arm up. Again, you don't have to use weight if you don't want to. And oblique crunch.
Last one, beautiful. Coming back, turning your feet parallel. And again, we will reach up, engaging your core, lifting it up. Last one, good, release it out, take a breath. We can turn towards the chair now. We'll find our nice lunge position here and tap it forward, using your glutes, core is strong. Next one, let's stay down, pulse here. Legs are strong, core's engaged, shoulders are relaxed. Pushing up with both feet. Beautiful, come on up. You can step back a little bit, bending your front leg, and we'll get ready to kick back and row. Last one here, bring your elbow back, and then we will extend as we kick. Check your hand on your chair, make sure it's light. Last one, stay up. Pulse, a little bit higher. Beautiful, release down. I'm gonna turn my chair back around this way. You can place your weight down. We'll do a couple of stretches here. I'm gonna stand a little bit farther away than my chair, cross one, ankle over my knee and then I can lean forward stretching to a standing figure four stretch you could also sit on a chair if it's more comfortable for you breathe relax through your hip little bit deeper come on up we'll switch to the other side you can feel like you're sitting back in a chair lower releasing out good place both feet down and then stretch to reach towards your chair in an L shape you can shift your hips back and forth or take whatever movement feels good keep 
keeping your core engaged, come on up. Let's go into a quad stretch here. Knees reaching down towards the ground, not letting your hips fall down. You can stay standing, or if it feels good, make sure you're keeping your ribs in to protect your core. You can tip forward for a deeper stretch. Beautiful, come on up. Switching sides. slowly releasing out. Let's grab a sip of water and I'll meet you down on the mat. If your knees are bothering you, you can place a blanket or fold up your mat. We are going to tilt to the side, extend one leg out, and you can do this without any weight, or if you wanted to grab a dumbbell for an extra challenge, you can. Let's turn our leg in, knee forward, and we'll lift up as we kick. Beautiful, core's engaged. Last one, good. Let's turn it out, take our hand up and elbow to knee. Focusing on the core work here. Last one, good. We can take our hand to our hip, lift our leg up, we'll draw a rainbow. Keeping your hips steady, preventing them from rocking back and forth. Beautiful, last one, good. Let's release down and set up in a side plank or you can stay laying on the ground here. We're going to dip using your core, bring your knee up, clamshell. Exhale, as you bring your knee up, especially protecting your core. Last one. Beautiful, let's drop to the ground. And we're gonna do an arm workout here. So laying on the ground, you can wrap your bottom arm around reaching up to your waist here. Then we are going to push ourselves up with your top arm. Alternatively, you can just get on all fours and do push-ups, or we'll do it with one arm. Keeping your core engaged.
two more. Beautiful, release down. You can stretch that arm out, do a couple of arm circles. Good. Let's come on up carefully. We'll set up on the other side. If you're going to use your weight, you can grab it. We will tilt to the side, lengthen, pointing your knee forward, lift. Ribs are pulled in. Last one here. Good, turning your top leg up, elbow to knee. Last one. Good, bringing your hand back to your hip. We'll lift up, rainbow leg. Hopefully you're feeling the burn now. Last one, beautiful. Let's release down to the ground. Setting up in a modified side plank or laying right down on the ground. And then we will dip, engaging your core. Clamshell. Last one, good, releasing down, tucking that bottom arm under, wrapping it around, and getting ready to push up with your top arm. Last one, my arm's shaking. Good. And get comfortable. Let's do some arm circles here just to stretch it out. Deeper breath. Good. I'm gonna roll over on to our back now. We're gonna do some bridge and then we'll add a Kegel in. So you can place your hands on your belly or under, and then we will press our lower back in, press into our feet, squeeze our glutes, come on up again, and then roll down. Beautiful, let's do that again with your own breath. Let's add a pelvic floor contraction, picturing a blueberry at the opening of your vagina and picking it up. Press your lower back. 
come down, fully release. Let's take a breath, fully relax your pelvic floor. Again. I'll let you move with your own breath. Do one more. Good, releasing it down. We have a couple different alternatives here. If you have diastasis recti, you'll wanna stay with toe taps here, engaging your core, exhaling as you're lifting up. If you can do a little bit more, you could bring both up, tapping down. Or if you're reaching more towards the end of your postpartum period, you could do a bicycle motion here, keeping your core engaged. Have a look down, make sure you're not coning or doming or take your phone and take a video. Beautiful, a couple more. And releasing down. We can roll over. We're gonna come to all fours. We're gonna engage our core as we exhale. Tuck your toes and you can lift up. If this does cause coning or doming, you're gonna press your knees into the ground instead. Let's hold. Release down, take a breath. We'll do that again. Release down, good. Let's extend one leg behind. Then we're going to use our inner thighs, cross it over, extend, and move it to fire hydrant. I'll let you keep going on your own. Last one, good. Let's set up on the other side. Extending back, you can give it a little bit of a lift once you're back there. Cross over, squeezing both inner thighs. Lift and move it up to fire hydrant. Lift, squeeze. Preventing your hips from rocking. Last one, beautiful. Let's sit back, stretch out throughout our glute. Switching sides. Okay. 
Coming back to all fours, let's take a quick thread the needle. Switching to the other side. Coming back up, you can sit on our knees or you can sit cross-legged, walk your hands behind and open up through the chest. Good, release down, round out this way. And we can find our way to a comfortable seated position. I'm gonna read the postnatal card for the day. The card is, I love being a mother and it's okay not to love every moment of motherhood. Thank you so much for joining that class. It was a really challenging class. You did amazing. If you like that class, let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up and I will keep making postnatal workouts every week. To get updated, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. I also have free resources that I will link to in the description box below. A weight loss course that I put together as a registered dietitian. My complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap. I also have a monthly postpartum workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this workout, I'm gonna to link to another workout I think you would like as well. And the whole postnatal playlist, you can save the playlist and come back to the different workouts whenever you like.